everything inside me. When it comes to Nikola Tesla, it's endless. Nikola Tesla did countless mysterious experiments, but he was a whole other mystery on his own. Almost all genius minds have a certain obsession. Nikola Tesla had a pretty big one. He was walking around a block repeatedly for three times before entering a building. He would clean his plates with 18 napkins. He lived in hotel rooms only with a number divisible by three. He would make calculations about things in his immediate environment to make sure the result is divisible by three and base his choices upon the results. He would do everything in sets of three. Some say he had OCD, some say he was very superstitious. However, the truth is a lot deeper. If you knew the magnificence of the three, six and nine, you would have a key to the universe. Nikola Tesla. His obsession was not simply with numbers, but especially with these numbers, 3, 6, 9. He did have an extreme case of OCD and he was superstitious, however, he chose those numbers for a reason. Tesla claimed that these numbers were extremely important. Nobody listened. He even calculated nodal points around the Earth linked to the numbers 3, 6 and 9. But why these numbers? What did Nikola Tesla try to make the world understand? Note. Things will get a lot stranger. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. First, we must understand that we didn't create math, we discovered it. It's the universal language and law. No matter where you are in the universe, 1 plus 2 will always equal to 3. Everything in the universe obeys this law. There are patterns that naturally occur in the universe, patterns we've discovered in life, star formations, and almost all natural systems. Some of these patterns are the golden ratio and sacred geometry. One really important system that nature seems to obey is the powers of two binary system in which the patterns start from one and continues by doubling the numbers. Cells and embryos develop following the sacred pattern. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, and so on. Some call these patterns the blueprint of God. Math, by this analogy, would be God's thumbprint leaving all religion aside. In vortex math, the science of Taurus anatomy, there is a pattern that repeats itself. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, and 5, and so on. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, and so on. As you can see, 3, 6, and 9, are not in this pattern. Scientist Marco Rodin believes, these numbers represent a vector from the third to fourth dimension, which he calls, a flux field. This field is supposed to be a higher dimensional energy, that influences the energy circuit of the other six points. Randy Powell, a student of Marco Rodin, says that this is the secret key to free energy, something which we all know Tesla mastered. Let me explain. Let's start from one, doubled it is two, 2 doubled is 4, 4 doubled is 8, 8 doubled is 16, which means 1 plus 6 and that equals to 7. 16 doubled is 32, resulting in 3 plus 2 equals 5. You can do 7 doubled if you want, to which you would get 14 resulting in 5. 32 doubled is 64, 5 doubled is 10, resulting in total of 1. If we continue, we will keep following the same pattern. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, and so on. If we start from 1 in reverse, we will still get the same pattern only in reverse. Half of 1 is 0 0.5, 0 plus 5, equaling 5. Half of 5 is 2.5, 2 plus 5, equaling 7, and so on. As you can see, there is no mention of 3, 
6, and 9. It's like they are beyond this pattern, free from it. However, there is something strange once you start doubling them. 3 doubled is 6. 6 doubled is 12 which would result in 3. In this pattern, there is no mention of 9. It's like 9 is beyond, completely free from both patterns. But if you start doubling 9, it will always result in 9. 18, 1 plus 8, equaling 9. 36, 3 plus 6, equaling 9. 72, 7 plus 2, equaling 9. 144, 1 plus 4 plus 4, equaling 9. 288, 576, and so on. This is called the symbol of enlightenment. If we go to the Great Pyramid of Giza, not only are there the three larger pyramids at Giza, all side by side, mirroring the positions of the stars in Orion's belt, but we also see a group of three smaller pyramids immediately away from the three larger pyramids. We find lots of evidence that nature uses threefold and sixfold symmetry, including the hexagonal tile shape of the common honeycomb. These shapes are in nature, and the ancients emulated these shapes in the building of their sacred architecture. Is it possible that there is something special about the mysterious number 3? Is it possible that Tesla uncovered this profound secret and used this knowledge to push the boundaries of science and technology? The Magnificence of 9 Let's say there are two opposites, call them light and dark if you want to. They are like the north and the south poles of a magnet. One side is 1, 2, and 4, the other side is 8, 7 and 5. Just like electricity, everything in the universe is a stream between these two polar sides, like a swinging pendulum. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2 and so on. And if you imagine the movement, it's something like the symbol for infinity. However, these two sides are governed by 3 and 6. 3 governs 1, 2, and 4, while 6 governs 8, 7, and 5. And if you look the pattern closely it gets even more mind-boggling. 1 and 2 equals 3, 2 and 4 equals 6, 4 and 8 equals 3, 8 and 7 equals 6, 7 and 5 equals 3, 5 and 1 equals 6, 1 and 2 equals 3. The same pattern on a higher scale is actually 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6 and so on. But even these two sides, 3 and 6 are governed by 9 which shows something spectacular. Looking closely at the pattern of 3 and 6, you realize that 3 and 6 equals 9, 6 and 3 equals 9, all the numbers together equal 9, both ways excluding and including 3 and 6. So 9 means unity of the both sides. 9 is the universe itself. The vibration, the energy and the frequency, 3, 6, and 9. Nikola Tesla said, If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. There is a deeper philosophical truth in this. Just imagine what we can accomplish if we apply this sacred knowledge in everyday science. Nikola Tesla said, The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.